So today we're going to look at same standard 78E4. Basically, the standard is using variables to represent quantities in real world or math problem. Construct equations to solve problems by reasoning about the quantities. Okay, so we're going to look at a two-step equation today. Everything you've been solving up till now has mostly been just literally one step, one verb, one thing, okay? So we've been solving these, right? This looks, it's a one-step equation. Or look at this one. This is a one-step equation, right? So I want you to see this. A two-step equation is going to look pretty familiar. It's going to have one of these terms, usually, multiplication or division. And then there will also be some adding or some subtracting. So in a way, I'm taking this one and I'm taking this one and I'm literally like putting them together. All right. So this is the format of a two step equation. You might also um, see this. OK, this is often, you know, something like this might be common. This is a two step equation. There's two steps to solve okay so if we're dealing with two steps two step equations we're really kind of in a way we're kind of putting together one steppers all right as far as um steps and all that go i'm going to say it's pretty much the same thing you're still going to focus on the side of the equation that contains the variable but in this case it's you got to be a little more careful the first thing you're going to do is move the constant okay and the reason for that is really just for simplicity. We're going to do the easier operations first. It's kind of like we're, we're going backwards on the order of operations. We've got to get, get down to this variable. So to get to this, we have to take away this first. It's like trying to get to a drawer with, with something at the bottom of it. right? You can open the drawer. You can take stuff in front of it away. And then to find out uh, where it is... You have to take stuff closer to it away, if that makes any sense. Okay? So, I'm going to tell you that the steps for solving a two-step equation are really not that horribly complicated. We're going to follow these guidelines pretty much to the T. Occasionally, you might have to do something different. Uh, we'll look at several examples with this lesson right now. I'm just showing you a couple in the beginning. Okay? So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look to the variable side first. And then the first step, the first do, the first verb will be to move or cancel the constant. And how do you do that, Mr. Waitley? Well, we do the opposite operation. Just like you did up here. Okay? So, we're looking at this one right now. Sorry. So here we go. Um, we're going to go to the variable side. It's over here. We're going to move the constant. You're going to move the number that's by itself first. How do you do that, Mr. Whaley? Well, you do the opposite operation, just like you've been doing. So opposite of plus 3 is to take away 3. And show it. You're going to show it on both sides. And draw this line. This is kind of like my, I'm going to refresh this web page, and this will be the new web page below it. Bye-bye. These cancel. That's why you do it. We're left with 3x equals, and then 6 minus 3, or 6 combined with negative 3. Okay. Now, our second step will be for us to get down to the actual variable term and we're going to break that apart now you've been doing that okay i'm going to move the coefficient well, how are you going to do that mr Whaley? you're going to do the opposite of what's there so what is there is multiplication and you're going to do the opposite you're going to divide you're going to show it divide like that both sides you're going to show that these cancel and you're going to show your x your answer equals some sort of a value okay now, you could take that value and plug it back in to make sure that it, it is correct. Three times I plugged it in and rewrote it. Three times one. So guess what? Your solution makes the statement true. That means that's the correct answer. Okay. It's a two-step equation, folks. Let's take a look at this one now. I'm going to look to the variable side. It's over here. We're going to move the constant first. 
Okay, so before we ever get to the variable term, we're going to start away from it. Okay, we're going to start away and move toward it. So I'm going to move the constant first. How do I do that? I'm going to do the opposite operation of that to both sides. To both sides. People, we're going to get more complicated than this. So follow the steps. Okay, there we go. Both sides, plus 2, plus 2. I don't care if you can do it in your head. 6 plus 2 is 8. Oops. I don't care if you can do it in your head. I don't care. I am requiring that you show the process. And we're left with this. Okay? All right, see what I did? Hey, this will be everything. And if you take away 2, it ends up being 6. Let's not take away 2. Let's add it to both sides. Now we're left with this. There's some value out there. If you divide it by 3, that value gets divided down to 8. What is that value? Let's not divide by 3. Let's move the coefficient by doing the opposite operation to both sides. So the opposite of divide is to multiply. That's what I'm doing. And these cancel. My answer is going to end up being x is... 24 because 8 times 3 is 24. Okay, let me show you one more example. I don't know. Let's go with this and let's go with 4. Let's go with M. Let's go with I don't know. Um, minus 6. Okay, two step equation. So don't start here. You can just take your eyes to the variable side. We're going to move the constant by doing the opposite of that. So the opposite of this, the opposite of, of that is to add 6. So I'll do that to both sides. Más 6, más 6. Show it on both sides. Both sides are the equal sign, right? I got a right side and I got a left side. So I'm going to add that. That's the opposite. Cancel it out immediately. What's 18 plus 6? I think it's 24. Copy this, copy this. See, you guys know what to do here, right? You saw these the other day. So, I'm going to move the coefficients. And to move that coefficient, I'm going to do the opposite operation to both sides. So, what operation is this? This is multiply. So, I'm going to do the opposite of multiply. Divide. Divide. And I end up getting the final answer. These cancel. M equals whatever the quotient of 24 and 4 is. Okay. Very good. Let's do one more before I leave you. Let's mix it with, uh, I don't know, let's go with uh, M divided by negative 4. Let's go with um, minus 7 equals, let's go with negative 10. Okay. So here we go. What are the steps? Steps are focus on the variable side. Move the constant first. So what's the opposite of that? Good. To both sides. These cancel. What's negative 10 plus 7? Remember, this is what we're doing. Negative 10 plus 7. Signs are different. You subtract. And what do we have more of? We have more of these. So your answer is that. Okay, and then on this side, we have the variable divided by negative 4. Okay, all right. So we're down to one last step. We know that this is the coefficient. This is the variable term. It's being divided by negative 4. So what we're going to do is take that negative 4, and we're going to multiply it to both sides. Okay, and then these cancel immediately because this is truly that, and this is truly that, and these cancel. But you don't have to write all that. Just write, put the negative 4 up here, cross them out. Your variable is equal to the product of negative 3 and negative 4. Okay? And you could plug that back in. And you could check that to make sure that you're not crazy. Well, let's see. 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. Does negative 3 minus 7 equal negative 10? Yes, it does. Rewrite, and yes, it does. So that means because your answer makes it true, 
then that means your answer is good. It works. It's accurate. Okay? Good. I'll throw one more out there for you. I don't know. Let's do something. We'll go something like this. 28. Okay? All right. Very good. So um, for this one, again, variable sides over here. You can go starting with the constant. We're going to subtract it. The opposite of adding it is to subtract it. Both sides. Manlo social, manlo social. Venti ocho, manlo social is venti. I'm trying. And then over here, we've got that. Okay? Down to a one-stepper. I is to the variable side. What's with it? Multiplying by 5. You're going to do the opposite of multiplication. Opposite of that multiplication is to divide. So let's divide both sides by 5. And you'll get a final answer. X is 4. Now you can go back up in here and you can make the X 4. And see if it works. And it does. Because... Order of operations says you'd multiply and then add. So, very nice. There you go. We'll, we'll, we'll practice a few more. But what you're doing so far um, is solving two-step equations. In every two-step or most often, we're going to first look to the variable side. We're going to move the constant first. When that constant is gone, then we can multiply or divide and cancel it out to get variable with its value. We'll continue practice.